Just try to finish this now. All we gotta do now is just finish this shit in hard mode and we're done. We're already basically there. For like a couple of days since I haven't streamed and recorded, but we'll see if I still remember everything. We should be chilling though. I've been watching all the videos, so. Pearl's hacking on God of War? You wish. Chilling. Ghost race killing. Oh, the ring looks different. been away far too long you can see her in the morning come In time, you will forget. All that you have lost can be yours once again. Why, very poo poo. <laughs> if this is what keeps you in service to Lord Ares, then this is what you shall have. It. It is not real. I can be your reality. 
The hard part is over, course. Spartan. You have committed the ultimate sacrifice. Offer yourself to us completely, and you shall live in blissful illusion. Never. Then let death be your reality! Never. What is the meaning of this? You yeah, have made a poor is, choice, Spartan. Wow. They're gonna make me start the game with me being like literally half health, dude. That's crazy. Ah, dude, this game, dude. I gotta make three of them. A now, simple bro. trinket will not defeat our sister. You defy me? You are but a mortal.
the fuck just happened?
James Sparta, oath breaker. Called a Spartan. That's a trade. Uh, I lost trace. everything because of you. Found that mistake. <laughs> That's, she's a manipulator. You think you want truth? But truth will only bring you pain! My death will not free you from this madness! We did it. We got the platinum trophy. And we're only 30 minutes into this stream. Dude, I got so much to say about this game. Good and bad. I would not have been strong enough to choose your path. Spartan. Orcos. I would have taken what my mother's offered. I would rather live in truth. I fear you may come to regret those words. Lord Ares still holds your bond. This cannot be. Before you killed them, my mother's once again made me your Oathkeeper. For you to be free, I must die by your hand. I do not understand. If you do not release me, my father will retain power over you. But even worse, I will live in eternal torture. I have spilled enough innocent blood. There is no other way, Spartan. Destroy the oath. Kill Ares. Have your revenge. I was never the warrior my father wanted me to be. But please, all I ask, give me an honorable death. With the death of Orcos, the blood oath to Ares was finally broken, and the painful truth rushed back to Kratos' mind. The truth of the murder he committed, the slaughter of his wife and child, the carnage forged from his relentless ambition, surfaced in perfect clarity, and became the visions that would haunt him all of his days. Man.
now free of the Fury's madness, but still tortured by the truth of his past. Kratos left the only home he'd ever known and set out to undo all that he had wanted. I mean, it's a prequel, so yeah. And we're finished. Under an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I only had 30 minutes. I couldn't finish it the day on Monday, dude. Way before I went to my girl's surgery, dude. Wow. I actually completed this in another 30 minutes. This is gonna be the shortest video ever. I guess I can talk about the review on the video too while I'm at it. Crazy, dude. So we completed a hard mode and we got the platinum trophy. Oh, uh, that's the next one, dude. This is it. Even though it's not the game. Oh, there it is, 100%. All right, so there it is. All platinum, all locked in the ascension. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, Story-wise, like I told my girl and like I told everybody else, ascension has always been that game where it could have been so good, but it didn't make sense right after it came out of three. Ascension came out, let's see. Ascension came out March 12th, 2013, right? Out of War 3, came out March 16th of 2010. So three years later, same month, uh, we have God of War Ascension. So this was like, I guess if this game came out way, be way I think it, either way, the game was going to be completely shit on. Because if it came out before 3, it still would have been like, dude, we're waiting for 2. Because the last time 2 was released... War 2 was released in 2007. So we had to wait three years, three three years of God of War 3. And I think after two, I think Change of Olympus and Goes of Sparta came out. So it was like, okay, we get it. You made all these prequels of the game. Now give us three. So if they released Ascension in 2010, it still would have been like, dude, why are we getting another prequel and why is it in the main game? Because Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta were a PSP exclusive, I think, and there were a PS Vita exclusive. They were mostly for the portable uh, sort of things. They weren't for like the main consoles, like the PS2, the PS3. So either way, if this game came out even before God of War 3 or after God of War 3, it still would have been like, what the fuck, you know? Uh, I can see why people would like this game a lot, but I can definitely tell you the story-wise just kills it a lot. Just kills it. Just massively kills it. It's too much all over the place. You go from three weeks, you go from two weeks early, then you go back to the present. Then somehow you're in back into the past, and then you're in the future, and then you're in the present. There's too much of that. It's not... It's not... It's too much work for a casual person. A person who has a heart... This Ascension is basically a test to... People who are die-hard God of War fans. That's what I, I would I would think Ascension. Ascension is for the hardcore God of War fans. This is the game that basically is almost like just if you can put the pieces together like you do with the other games, you can put this game pieces together. But you actually have to think of the story. And then you have to think of all the things that you have done throughout the whole story. Um the whole point of this is just basically he broke his oath. He was gonna, he didn't want to, after he killed his 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 wife and daughter, he didn't want nothing to do with Ares because he killed his wife and daughter. So it's like he made an oath, he broke the oath, and then he ended up there. That's basically the whole story. And he had killed them, which to even question the question that if he will kill the Furies is like, it's stupid because after three was Ascension, if he killed Zeus, spoiler alert, if he killed Zeus, and God of War 3 and then Ascension comes out and you're you're saying, oh, he won't kill the Furies. That is a stupid comment to make after 3 came out. So that's another big step of why Ascension fell too, is that, oh, can he kill the Furies? Of course he can kill the Furies. He kills Zeus himself. He killed his uncle. He killed his nephew. He killed his cousins. He killed his own blood, his brother, his stepbrothers, his stepsisters, his, his father's ex-wives, his father's lovers. So it's like, to question that if he can kill the Furies is not even undoubtable and your mind should be like, he can't kill them. Like, no, he can kill them. He can kill them. 
So that's another lack of thing where it's like, okay, he's gonna kill them. And but the, what's the whole story about? To put it short, he broke an oath. He broke an oath, and he has to, he has to basically kill the fairies in order for him to make sure that the that the oath or whatever stays ahead of whatnot. It's a really bad story, dude. Honest to God, it's a really bad story. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it was worth it. I can see why Ascension was just that game where it's like it led to God of War going to the sidelines for the past, for the next three years. And crazy enough, I thought this game came out like in, tw in 2020, if I'm not mistaken. I thought it was 2020 or 2011, right after three. But it came out in 2013, which means the team was working on God of War 2018 for three years on the low with no one actually knowing about at all. So that's cool. And then they actually, they, they re, of course, 2018 became a massive success in God of War and changed the game completely for what it was. So Ascension, I would say it's for the diehard fans, people who have played the games multiple times. And I want to talk about the format of this game because this was the last game and the format I'll probably talk about after I'm done with three so that way I can talk about this even more clarifying to show that what I'm trying to get to with, with the format of the game. But for now, if you're a diehard God of War fan, I can see why you like this game because there's so much new things in this new one that's just that just shows that it wasn't on three, but still three is undoubtedly top three, not even top three, I'm talking about my ass, top two of all the God of Wars because that game right there had so much which I won't be able to, I can't talk about it, but I will show you after I get to that point. <laughs> but three is undoubtedly top two. And the first one will probably have to be God of War, uh, the comeback basically. But yeah, I can see why this game's big. It's good for God of War for hardcore fans. But if you're a newcomer and you play Ascension, don't let this game scare you or like make you want to step away from playing the other god of war games trust me the other god of war games like the first one god of war 2 god's change of olympus go ghost of spartan and god of war 3 are much better than this one i can tell you that so much for the story for the one arc right <laughs> it's just too it's just too blatantly obvious like dude you're broken oath and you got fucking promise out oath and you break it and then you gotta kill the furious to fucking break the oath next thing you know you have to fucking kill the sun because they made one more oath it's like dude we get it but anyways the game i gave it like a six out of ten fuck it <laughs> i gave it like a six out of ten dude uh, it's not my favorite it's not my favorite i can definitely see why it's it's like i said it's people's favorite but for me personally it's not my favorite at all i think it's it's that game where it's like you're gonna see a lot of goro and just a lot of shit that's just like oh cool like we haven't seen this before from kratos but like I said, I don't want to talk about that yet because that format is I'm literally going to put my family, friends and people on the spot because the format of the game is literally the biggest thing that people are complaining about Ragnarok right now, which is stupid. But like I said, we won't get there until the game comes out. 610 being gore. <laughs> being... <laughs> yeah, bro, basically, because there's a lot of gore. The gore is what makes it sick. Like I said, I think that's the reason why my videos on TikTok are blowing up because there's so much gore, dude. I question myself, dude, should I even post this on TikTok? Like, I don't even know if I should post this. I still post it, you know, of course. And I'm even keeping the biddies on it too. Like the ones from like, um, uh, what's her name? Medusa. Because when you do her, her, when you finish her, like you slaughter her, uh, her biddies are out basically, dude. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna test it when the time comes. I'm, I'm not there yet in, in TikToks. I'm still working on the videos, but I'm gonna keep it there. I didn't keep the other ones though. The, the one scene in the beginning where there's a lot of biddies, bro. I had to use a lot of black marks, bro. I was like, damn, there's a lot of biddies in this shit, bro. And I forgot, I totally forgot that that scene happens. And this, I think this is the only game, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the only game that you don't do uh, the sex scene to get more red orbs, which, it's a trophy for every each game uh, to complete his full stats uh, of the game. So I think this is the first one that doesn't do that. But I don't think the Infinity, if you do it correctly, how I did it in this game, which means like collecting all the red orbs, uh, making sure your, your areas are, are have uh, red chests, you collect all the eyes and the feathers. 
Uh, I think I got it like around chapter 17 or 18. No, no, no. I probably, I'm lying. I probably like, no, yeah, like 17 or 18. I completely completed everything already. And I was getting, I got up to, what is it? 16K of red orbs. So that was, that was enough for me to actually, I didn't have to do the, the infinity uh, red orbs. I didn't have to do it, but I still did it anyways. And it was fun. It was cool. It was a little cool little thing you could do. When bro gets to God of War 3. Oh, bro, when I get to God of War 3, I'm talking my shit, dude. Because I'm telling you, dude, there's a there's a thing going on right now that people are talking about God of War 2018 and Ragnarok that pisses me off because it's like, dude, I don't I can't say it. I don't want to say what it is, but I'll say that I'm a I'm gonna talk a lot of shit, dude. I really am. I'm gonna literally be like so much shit. Trust me, dude. 